Hi, today I acquired this. It's a DeWalt. A DeWalt what? Let's open the case and find out. There we are. Let's take this out. And this. large piece of foam. This is the standard DeWalt 18 volt battery charger. This is the DeWalt drill itself. It's SDS. Basically it's a hammer drill but it gives one heck of a hammer. It makes Drilling into concrete very, very easy. Let's uh, put its battery on. It comes with a 4 amp hour battery. This one did, I'll explain why in a minute. Battery's dead easy, like all the rest of the DeWalt tools. Just slides on, give it a whack. Done, we are ready to go. But let's have a look at its features first. It's got a handle. You undo that and twist it round so that if you're whichever way handed you are, you can hold it comfortably. This is the depth gauge. You press that through for as deep as you want the hole to be because obviously the drill bit goes in here and then that stops you drilling into any deeper than what you anticipate doing. Let's turn it round your way. I'll put the handle here and make it easier for me to move it about for you to see. Apart from the handle here, it's got a fall down reverse switch here. In the middle it is off. Yep, and it's variable speed. Both backwards and forwards. Ordinary drilling mode is down there. Hammer and drill is there. And just hammer is there. The reason it has hammer only is so you can put a chisel bit in it and you can do simple things like chisel tiles off the wall. You wouldn't want to dig a big trench with it. It's not a jackhammer. It's ideal for taking small tiles off the wall or a small chase. But obviously its main intention is to drill and hammer. It comes with a 4 amp hour battery. You can get other sized batteries. I happen to have a 2 amp hour battery here. I'm going to use this as a spare. Not only for this. Yes on that won't last as long. But I've got a few other DeWalt tools. And of course, because it's DeWalt, and it's the XR range, all the batteries are interchangeable. The only difference is the capacity of them. Around the front, when I start drilling, as you see, light comes on to illuminate the item where you're working at. Yes, I'm um, quite liking it. The other thing it has, I'll show you on this battery, is a little button there you press that and it tells you the state of charge of the battery being as this is brand new it's not been fully charged they don't fully charge them when they transport them I shall pop that in the charger shortly I'm going to guess it's going to be the same for this one well, this one's got two bars on it yes I'm quite impressed. DCH253M1 with one 4 amp hour battery. The thing is with most of these tools is that you can look at one place and it'll be one price and you look somewhere else and they don't stock it, it doesn't exist. I find that quite often the model number is unique to where you got it from. 
but you will get similar ones but there'll be one letter out and they have one slight feature different or different size battery nothing to really worry about but I quite like DeWalt let's um, go and drill a hole the other thing I have ready is this it's a label printer as soon as I get something I go and put a label on it so I know when I bought it and the other thing I do with batteries apart from putting the date on it I give it a number because they look the same technically they are the same but you don't know which one it is you've just charged yes okay you got one that's flat and one that isn't but supposing you go back a couple of days later and you get your batteries out and you think oh which one did I charge yes you can use the test feature but the thing is, it's easy to look at it and go, oh yeah, that one needs to be charged, whereas that one doesn't. That's why I recommend putting the date and a number on them. When I say number, like one and two, or three and four, because it'll be today's date and battery number one, and today's date and battery number two. Before I drill a hole, I better show you about the bit. This is an SDS bit, and as you can see, the end is not like a normal drill. That's because SDS, as it hammers a lot, has a different style of chuck. You pull this part back. Twist it, and it goes in. That is in. Now we're going to drill a hole. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to drill a hole in this brick. As you can see there is some vibration but I couldn't feel it and um, I don't really need an actual hole in the brick but I've done it now. If you found this content useful a thumbs up will be appreciated. A subscription to the channel which is free will be great as well and as always thanks for watching.